Development within Guyana's agriculture sector is continuing as government seeks to re-energize and expand the sector in an effort to strengthen its place as a major economic pillar despite the country's growing status as an oil-producing nation. This past week, the ministries, National Drainage and Irrigation Authority and the Guyana Sugar Corporation signed several contracts as part of the ministry's 2021 Capital Expenditure Program. The contract signed amounts to more than $340 million and is aimed at boosting drainage and irrigation capacity in several key communities in regions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9. Speaking to contractors at the signing, Agriculture Minister Zulfikar Mustafa again reiterated the importance of contractors, ensuring that they stick to the letter of the contracts, delivering quality work in the stipulated time frame. I want to urge you that we have to finish our work program and these are services that we have to provide to the people of our country. And in today's contract signing, we have close to about $500 million that will be executed and works that to be executed. And some of the works that we have to do are building structures in very vulnerable areas. And you all know that we are now experiencing uh, uh, severe flooding across the country because of the excessive rainfall over the last few weeks. And in almost all the regions of our country, we have seen unprecedented high level of water, which is due to the high level of rainfall we have witnessed and also the high tide. And these structures in places like Blackbush Polder, places like in the Abari, are very, very critical and important. I want to urge contra contractors that they must ensure that they speed up these work, they start these work on time. We will not extend the time of contract because as I, first of all, as I mentioned a previous contract signing, that we want to ensure that we complete our work program. We want the work to be done to standard. We must observe all the specifications and also we want the work to, to be done within the time span that is provided within the contract document. According to Minister Mustafa, with the renewed interest and enthusiasm being demonstrated by farmers across the country, the spotlight is on government in providing the necessary infrastructure so as to facilitate this interest by persons to return to their lands and to expand current cultivations. He explained that the current contracts being undertaken by the contractors present will serve to bolster drainage and irrigation in several vulnerable communities. We have the rehabilitation of drainage and irrigation channel at Blackbush Polder. Um, I hope that this work will complete on time because right now Blackbush Polder is experiencing severe flooding. Um, we also have repairs to the intake structure of Denham still, West Coast Demerara. I know this is a very critical and important structure. We have the construction of the channel and to activate at the new sluice at Abari, the right bank there. And those areas that I'm calling are flooded right now, are flooded right now. And we need to ensure that we do this um, work, we complete this work and do this um, um, execute these contracts on time. Also, we will see um, we, we, what we will do. We, prepare, we this in our year, this year's work program, we will be preparing close to about 28 tractors. When I went to the interior, I made a commitment that we will try to help the village economy. We will try to provide them with transportation. And this year, we will be purchasing 28 tractors to be delivered to various hinterland communities. Um, so that we can enhance their transportation needs, we can enhance their farm, uh, in, um, farm produce to transport farm produce, and those communities will be um, carefully selected. And we have uh, we have had a number of consultations. Also, what we'll be doing for regions one and nine, we'll be providing tractors for the village there, the region, so that they can have big tractors to do plowing to do um, plant, um, plant grass, this plow, room plow, and this could be used in the areas, in the various villages. These machines and equipment will be owned by NDIA, these big machines, 
NEI will service it, operate it, but it will be controlled by the regions and the village. Minister Mustafa stressed that government is putting in the necessary infrastructure to ensure the advancement of conditions that will allow Guyana's farmers to up current production levels, as government is now eyeing market opportunities within the region. And we, from the Ministry of Agriculture, we are providing the necessary services, we are providing the necessary investment to ensure that we push agriculture and we move agriculture forward. Only just now I had a meeting with the Caribbean private sector organization. What we are doing, we are now developing some crops in the Caribbean so that we can work to reduce the importation bill in the Caribbean in terms of those farm produce and also agriculture produce that we have been importing in the Caribbean from outside of the Caribbean. So Guyana is playing that leading role. As a matter of fact, you know, for, uh, you know now that there is a task force in the Caribbean and Guyana is chairing that ministerial task force. Our president is the chief spokesperson on agriculture once again in the Caribbean. So you could see Guyana is taking its rightful place and you, as the person are, who are, we are engaging, who we are contracting to deliver these services, you could see how critical these services um, will be for us because we are the leading light in agriculture now in the Caribbean. We have had this flood, but we will have to continue to advance, as the President rightly said, that we will ensure that everyone who are affected in this flood, that we help them to secure their livelihood and help them to go back to their life. Earlier in the week, the Agriculture Minister had met with contractors who are currently working on contracts signed early in the year. That meeting was to check on their progress in the execution of those works and to iron out any wrinkles that may have developed along the way for those contractors. Mm -hmm.